Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing a brand new series of Spore on the channel. Now the whole point of this series is going to be to check out the Platinum Spore mod, which is possibly the most comprehensive mod that is available for Spore. It adds a load of different things to the game in all stages. Uh, the previous series that I did was on Better Spore, and you can check that out, I'll put a link in the description, and that was sort of like the preamble to this mod pack. So we're just going to go straight into the cell stage and test it out. We want a nice interesting looking world. This one's kind of purple land and blue sea. They're all very boring looking, aren't they? What about this one? Sure, brown and red. That seems perfect. So let's go into the cell stage, and we're going to go for a specific archetype this time. So we're just going to carry on with this for now, and I'll explain what I'm going to do in a minute. Now, what are we going to call it? Well, I suppose as we're playing the Platinum Spore mod, we can call it something like Platy... Platy Planet... X... C. That's an X. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> totally can type. Don't worry. So here we are, the epic start once again. The sun and our planet. And the asteroid which delivers life to all planets in Spore at some point or another. Now in this game mode, what I'm basically going to try and do is show off all of the features of the mod pack because there's a hell of a lot of them. I've also put a list of all the changes in the description as well, so you can check that out. But we're going to be playing as a specific archetype, and an archetype is basically the uh, sort of character you play towards the end of the game in the space stage. So you can be like a knight, a scientist, uh, there's loads of them. Basically, it depends on how you play each stage. And I want to go for the scientist archetype this time. And that's because you get some very cool abilities when you get to space stage, which I'm definitely going to do in this one. So here we are on our new planet. Welcome to the Tide Pool. Throughout Spore, the choices you make impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. This is your progress bar. As you eat, you'll earn DNA points. You may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. As you progress, you grow larger and your world expands. We know this, thank you very much. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have actually done about... Ah, damn you, Mimo, eating my food. I have done about five other series of Spore. <laughs> I just love this game. I can't get enough of it, especially with all these mod packs I'm looking into now. It just makes it so much more enjoyable. Right, okay, so we're just going to basically be swimming around, trying to eat up all of these little bits of greenery. And the way we're going to get to the scientist archetype is by playing the game. If we have a little look here in the history thing, we're going to get this by playing a mix of omnivore and carnivores, no herbivores. Now you might be saying, well, Parky, you've just chosen a bloody herbivore to start your series. That is a bit dim. Well, I'm actually going to go for the omnivore in this stage just because it's going to make things a bit quicker. And then after that, we are going to just... I don't know, do a random mix. We need at least two of these stages to be an omnivore and two of them to be a carnivore. So that's what we're aiming for. Just so you know. Okay, so we're having to ignore all this tasty, tasty meat at the moment, but that's okay. Eventually we are going to unlock the ability to eat meat and not be a dirty vegetarian. In fact, I can't even say that because most of the time I'm a vegetarian. I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is one of those series where I'm just going to ramble constantly, so get used to it. Other cells and meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. Each part has unique abilities that can benefit your cell. And there we are. When you see a new part appear, swim over to the token to collect it. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get our spike on. We're going to go and stab our spiny butt into people's faces. And by people, I mean other cells, because that would be really weird. Okay, so let's carry on collecting some of this uh, plant gubbin around here. We can now enter the cell creator. Might be worth doing. Although, to be honest, we haven't really got that much DNA to start bothering doing anything. I don't really have any massive need to upgrade myself as of yet. In fact, I'm going to do it because I think there's a feature that you'll enjoy as part of this mod pack for the cell stage. Hello there, sexy lady. Oh, you're doing your spin. Spinny spin. Oh, I love those tentacles. Woop, 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 woop. Zoidberg. <laughs> okay, so let's carry on. You can change modes, blah, blah, blah. Right, so the first thing you're going to notice is that we're actually in the 3D cell editor, which is very strange for the cell stage. This is the view that you get for most other stages, but this mod adds it on for this as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of mouths on like this. This means we can't afford anything else, but it does mean that at least we can start eating some meat. And just because I can... I'm going to make him look a little bit different. So let's just split his tail. I was going to change his colour as well, but that's okay. So we'll do something like this. We could even like give him some weird like tentacles on the bottom. But I don't know how this is going to look in the game, actually. It might look a bit odd. Okay, well, we're going to find out very soon. So let's just change the colour, and we'll go for... 
I don't know what I'm going for yet, I'll just go for this, because why not? And we're going to name our species Species X. Now, the reason we're going to call pretty much everything so far something X is because I want you guys to dictate exactly what my guy looks like, and also kind of what he is going to be called, and everything else like that. Oh god, he's, he swims in a very special fashion. That's okay, well, we can start chowing down some of this meat now. Nom 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 nom. We can eat this guy, look. He's got so many eyes, the eyes are the best part of any meal. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so we're basically going to carry on going around here. There's a big scary guy in the background. Damn you, don't get off my meat! It's mine! Nom 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 nom. And we're going to try and get to the next sort of stage here and unlock a few more parts. And I think pretty much the only way of unlocking these parts is to continue growing and to follow things around as they die. Hello there. Oh, I like your tentacles. He looks a bit scared. I'd be scared if this thing was coming towards me. We could do with a bit more speed. We don't have that much speed right now, but it's okay. We can carry on eating, chowing down. With all this stuff that we're eating, I'm not surprised we're not very fast. So, oh, there's a big plant over here. How are we doing on this progression anyway? Are we still in the middle? We need to eat more meat. Don't go for the plant. Go for the things eating the plant. Known as these weird green alien looking things. Okay, so let's carry on. Is it just me or has this mod also made the cells look a bit more 3D in general? Not just in the creator? I can't quite tell. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go after this guy. Eat his lovely tasty butt. There we go. Thank you for your bottom and eat all of this meat up. I suppose we could consider going into the cell creator again just to get some love action on. All creatures- oh god, she's spazzing out a little bit. Maybe we're the she. Who knows? You can never tell in this game. They might not even be assigned genders. They might be a very mixed alien race of just- maybe they just self- no, they don't self-breed, do they? Because they have sex with each other. Okay, what am I talking about? Let's get some spikes on this bad boy. I'm going to put these on the back here, and I might just move these to the sides, because it, it's kind of weird how I'm putting them underneath. I can even put it on top and see what happens. <laughs> Would that work? I just want to see if this works. Species X. Sh sure. <laughs> I'm just, like, experimenting now. I don't know whether any of this is going to break the game or not. Yeah, look, it's on top of him. And it makes him swim very strangely to begin with. But that's fine. Don't judge anyone based on how they move or swim. That would be very, very racist of you. Oh god, we died. What am I doing? <laughs> Swimming racist. I think we're doing alright here. I'm having to keep checking this menu just because I really don't want to get to the point where I'm, I'm eating far too much of one thing. Oh, for god's sake, these damn poison pods! Never thought I'd have this much trouble in the cell stage. In fact, I think this is the most I've died for a very long time. Maybe it's just because I'm really trying to go for this um, omnivore. This guy. How dare you? Okay, there's there's been a drop of some kind. If this bastard would leave me alone. These purple guys are really difficult to deal with. And look, it's these sort of flappy flachilla things. Oh god, no. No, no, no. Oh, get away from me, man. I'm telling you, I'm not joking about here. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a probesis or whatever it's called. Maybe we should get one of those and we won't have to have one of these weird combined mouths. We're going for this guy. We're going for him. He's a bit faster than us. In fact, I think he's a lot faster than us. Maybe due to the fact that we have our, our swimming mechanism on the top of our head. Oh dear. Go for these little guys anyway. That'd be a little bit easier to catch. In fact, this is ridiculous. I can't even catch one of these small ones. I really need to get some more meat in me. Get a few more DNA points. And there's another bit floating up here. Obviously, something has died nearby. And if we go this way, look, there's another one over here. He's got one of those jet ones, though, so it's probably going to be a bit quicker. Yeah, unfortunately so. I think today I'd like to get through most of this stage. Now, one of the big things that I'd really like this series to incorporate is all of your suggestions. Now, I never like making things without consulting you guys, because I think the collective effort of a group coming up with creative ideas is a lot better than just stupid me, who has, like, no form of creativity whatsoever, to put it bluntly. So, we're going to go for that, leave all of your suggestions, and next time, as soon as we get into the creature stage, I'm going to start spending my money to incorporate as many of those ideas as I possibly can. So let's see if we can go for this herbivore here. We can, and look, we've got one of those jet things. How helpful. Okay, so we're going to go for all of this stuff. There's this spiky guy here. He wants, he's wants, he got a beef with me. That's fine. We're going to go into our creative menu again. See if we can get a bit more speed going on. And I'm not talking about the drugs. Okay. Stop with the terrible dad jokes, Parky. You have no idea what's going on. Lovely sexy time. I don't think cells particularly breed in this way. I think they just sort of multiply, don't they? 
my again i'm going to pretend that i have some form of knowledge of oh god we don't even have to give him eyes do we no that's fine okay there we go you can have a blind cell who said that that would be a problem oh god it's actually gone dark i didn't even know that was a thing in the game I'm still discovering things with Spore. Apparently, if you have no eyes in the cell stage, everything goes a bit darker. So I guess we're using our other senses to, to feel our way around the blind shell. Oh, God. Okay, maybe not go towards the big scary creature over there. Oh, God, this guy. What are you doing? He just loves my booty. Okay, let's go over here, try and eat up some of these guys. They're a bit trapped in here, but so am I, actually. Although this big dude that's attacking me just got owned, and then I got owned as well. So I guess survival of the fittest. <laughs> Being the most unfit. Oh, look, there's a meteor bit up there. Let's go and get it, see what this part has given to us. What's the game? When life gives you cell parts, you should take them. Oh, look, there's another one there. That looks like a proboscis mouth part thing. Okay, if we can just go around this guy without being killed, that would be brilliant. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Probisis. Probis Probosis. That's it. There we go. We got there eventually. What a dumbass. Let's go over here again. I'm not sure if I like not having eyes. It makes me feel a bit uncomfortable not being able to see directly around me. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. We've got a new egg. I think Evolution has decided officially that having no eyes is a bad thing. So we're going to go for this and uh, we'll go for the stalk ones. Sure thing. Can we actually rotate any of these around? Or make them bigger? Oh, look at this. We can make them bigger. Give them a bit more protection here. Yeah, sure. Okay, bigger spikes equals bigger protection. Big spikes, big protection. Big profit as well, possibly. Oh god, what's happened to his mouth? It sort of disappeared. We're like the spazziest cell I think I've ever seen. Also, are those spikes slightly wrong as well? His... <laughs> Oh, well, we can zoom in in this stage as well. I didn't even know that. Well, there we go. You learn. You, you keep learning things with Spore. It's an ever-evolving experience. Did you see what I did there? Evolving. And look at this. We can eat these guys without even having to kill them now. But yeah, when you zoom out like this, his spikes sort of disappear. His eyes look a bit spazzy. It's the derpiest cell I think I've ever made. How are we doing for this again? We're right bang in the middle. So let's carry on eating a bit of meat. We can start eating a few plant bits as well, I guess, if we want to. And we've got to search out for these other guys. Here we are. Hey there, I'm going to stab you with my face what's it. I hope you enjoy it. Or maybe I won't, you're a bit protected. Oh look, there's two kinds of this one. There's like a herbivore one and a carnivore one. They look exactly the same. There you go, we're sucking his face off. Do have to love a little bit of face sucking in this game. Okay, let's go through here again. We're sucking him through his mouth. Oh god, we just got huge as well. So what happens, everyone? You get huge if you suck things off. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> this is like the worst thing I think I've ever done. Worst start to a series ever. Hello there, Buzzy. I'm going to eat you. And I want your part as well. Yes, we've got a nice... Is that the electric part or is that the... I think that might be the electric part. Here's one of our friends. Look at him. Hi there, pal. Species X. I feel like we need a bit of a backstory for this uh, creature. I feel like Species X is a, a good name for a creature that was maybe like genetically engineered by an alien race and placed on this planet to see how we'd do and become the dominant species. Because it's inevitable, in Spore you are going to become the dominant species, no matter how many times you die, else there wouldn't really be much of a game with that. Okay, so let's have a little look how we're doing again. I think actually sucking things off with this, does it just give us points right in the middle? <laughs> it's the episode of sucking things off. <laughs> Okay, let's carry on sucking these guys. Uh, they don't mind. They've got some bodily juices to spare. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I think we should go for a bit more plant material now, because we're getting a bit fat with all that meat. It's great and everything, having all that protein. But you've got to have a varied diet. The, this guy, he's he's not going to get those that buff six-pack or whatever. Sell six-pack if he doesn't eat a good variety of food and veg. Tell you what, he's not very regular, because he's not eating enough vegetable material. Okay, let's carry on down here. Is there, There's not really much plant material around here, actually, is there? We need one of those big deposits of it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, look, here we go. Here's one of these plant materials. A plant station. It's like a refueling station for the cells of the world. Let's carry on. We're going to grab up as many of these as we can. 
You don't see these very often, so we might as well get them whilst we're here. And then we can always balance it out at the end by eating a load more meat and stuff. There we go. We just have a little snack here as well. A little protein shake. <laughs> it's like a really messed up, like, protein, like, health bar, isn't it? Oh, we can't actually eat these pieces of meat now. We actually have to suck it out of things. Well, that's fine as well. Okay, so let's get some more meat. We've had far too much in terms of plant material now as well. Might as well... Should we call a mate again? Get a bit more speed going on. Oh, God, my mate just got shocked. She's shocked at my sexy body. Look at my... Oh, you like it, don't you? <laughs> you lay that egg, you dirty slut of a cell. Okay, right, so we want some more speed. So let's get some more of these on here. We'll go for a big flappy bit at the back. The ladies love the tentacles. And, yeah, we'll keep the same colour because it doesn't really matter. Okay, the red is working well for us. And here we are. We're going to have a bit more speed now. We can zoom... I, th I think the game spazzes out slightly when you don't zoom in. I think that's the main problem. Just graphically, like, it just really ruins the cell, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be lots of really amazing derpy moments with this mod pack, as there are with all mod packs. So we have that to look forward to, which I don't mind at all, actually. I think it adds a lot more to the game than you'd expect. Okay, so there's a nice feeding ground down here with a load of delicious-looking people. Oh, yes, I can just eat you. Eat you alive. And get this guy as well. It doesn't matter if we get shocked too much, because the amount of meat we get from these is definitely worth it. And we've almost gone into the creature stage now. I can't believe how quickly this has gone. So we're going to try and take on a few more of these guys, get some more meat into our system. Ah, oh, damn you! I think I was the snack in this situation. Oh god, what is wrong with me today? I feel like I'm in sort of some weird hyper mood from having to play Spore again. It's been a little while, a few months. I've been doing sort of like a creature creator series, which I might carry on doing after this one ends. But this is probably going to be quite a long-winded series as well. Because I plan to do all of Space Stage, because there's a hell of a lot that has changed this time in comparison to the other mod pack. So there's a lot to check out in all stages. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the creature stage is slightly longer again, but they've offset that with some new and interesting abilities and other things that you can unlock with uh, different parts that you can put onto your creature. So it's not too bad. But I think for today, this probably seems like a good place to leave it. We've made a lot of progress, a hell of a lot more than I was expecting. And before next time, what I want you guys to do, as I said, is to leave all of your suggestions for what you'd like my creature to look like, and also suggestions for the creature name, and perhaps even the planet name, because we can change that again. If you enjoyed the episode, then all you have to do to leave your support is leave a rating of any kind on the video, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward, goodbye. Awkward.